Hello, this is part 2, the closing episode in a mini-series of tutorials on combining Vincent Persichetti's technique for writing music with chords by seconds with the Strata Harmony technique from the Schillinger system of musical composition. You'll see the remaining examples and conclusion. Watch part 1 for the fundamentals and first set of examples. What was discussed in part 1 from this mini-series? The subject is composing music with chords by seconds, as discussed in Vincent Persichetti's book on 20th century harmony, and combine this with the strata harmony approach from the Schillinger system. In part 1 I presented the fundamentals. There you'll find an overview of the four basic three-note chord types in seconds, and the set of polychords when stacking two such trichords. I discussed voicing aspects, such as inversion positions and doubling. Then I presented three application examples. One short chamber music phrase using a single layer trichord progression. This was followed by two sectional harmony examples. The first a five part setting, the second a two layer hexachord phrase. In this episode there will be two more examples a strata harmony string background and a somewhat longer chord continuity with a variable density strata harmony for synthesizers and solo orchestral instruments. Tutorial development support is welcome, either through a PayPal donation or by becoming a patron. The fourth example is a background for string section, a two-layer polychord setting with two different results. We return to the chord progression that we saw in example 3 from part 1. There we used this series of 6 hexachords, written as polychords and two layers, to create a sectional harmony phrase for brass section. The example starts from a diatonic bass part in C major. In each layer we find 3 note chords and seconds. I chose those polychords from the overview sheets that contain the essential chordal function 3 in the setting and optionally the 7. I discussed this in part 1. In Schillinger system terminology this progression may be labeled as diatonic symmetric harmony. I applied strata harmony voice leading in each of the two layers. Listen to this chord progression and be aware of the non-diatonic notes and the overall chord tension level curve. We'll write a string section background for a given medium tempo rock idiom setting with a busier rhythmical part for bass guitar and drums. Here you see the two different results that I call the sustained notes solution on the left and the more interesting solution with moving parts on the right. The bass part uses additional notes from the six element pitch class sets. Listen to the sustained note background first. The upper layer trichords are assigned to violins and violas. The lower layer is played by divisi cello and double bass. The voicing is half open voicing in both layers. The overall range is about 3 octaves. I use smooth voice leading, stepwise motion where possible, and adhere to the strata harmony rules. There is no voice crossing between layers. The result is a fairly modern idiom and sounds somewhat like the traditional chords and thirds approach, but with frequent dissonant clashes as a result of the chords in seconds being used. And now the two strata in isolation, starting with the lower layer. Sounds fairly smooth, I would say, notwithstanding the fact that all chords use seconds intervals. Check the chordal functions in relation to the bass.
and here is the upper layer. This does not support the chord root tone and is unlikely to be used as the only layer. It is the combination of two layer polychords that yields the unique overall sound. Note the high dissonance level in the next to last chord. You may want to disguise the simple static harmony origin of this background and instead create more interesting string parts. That is demonstrated on the right, where I've inserted embellishments such as passing and alternating neighboring notes. Also I've inserted two intermediary leading tone chords, that is chords with directional units approaching the target chord at semitone steps. The moving parts alternative result is far more interesting to play and listen to. Example 5 is a three section, somewhat longer example that demonstrates a variable density strata harmony setting for mainly synthesizers. A variable density implies creating a continuity with changing number of parts. You'll see the three sections in succession, starting with A. The harmony is a string of three polychords and seconds with single pitch class overlap. These pentachords have highly dissonant chord tension level. I turn this into a chord continuity in the Schillinger symmetric harmony system with the 6 semitone, the tritone interval root cycle R6i. That means transposing the sets by 6 semitones. The next step is creating a 3 layer strata harmony setting. I extracted a C F sharp pedal point layer and distributed the harmony over a three part upper and a two part lower layer. The voice leading adheres to the strata harmony rules. There are no crossing parts and neither are the layers crossing. In the middle section I reduced the part density. I use a single polychord in seconds with two overlapping pitch classes. Thus we obtain a tetrachord that is set in a different Schillinger symmetric harmony system. Now the three roots lie a major third apart. When applying a two layer strata harmony approach, with each layer having two parts, that is S2P over S2P, this chromatic cluster sounding texture opens up into something more pleasant by focusing on sixth intervals and the mildly dissonant major second interval. Also note the voice leading in each part. In the closing section of this example we return to a denser texture with full hexachords. I used this set of three polychords and seconds, a selection from the overview sheet presented in part 1. There's a Phrygian structure type in each polychord. And here's another Schillinger symmetric system, this time with four roots distributed at minor third intervals and forming a diminished seven chord.
This continuity is set in four layers, with a lead melody at the top, two harmony layers and a bass part. At the octave transposition shown, there is part overlap between the two middle layers. You may increase the density even further by using note doubling in the trichord, an aspect discussed in the Persichetti book and in part 1 from this series. Here I've applied root pitch or consonant interval doubling in the upper layer. The density now has become 7 part, with a 4 part layer stacked on top of a 3 part layer. Using a 4 layer strata harmony approach, this is the result. I obtained a different lead melody, which you should compare with the earlier version. Now it has more melodic potential I find. Voice leading in the second layer from the top has changed, and part crossing between layers has been prevented. The source material is complete now, with the variable density strata harmony continuity and voice leading. Time to turn this into music. I applied a harmonic rhythm to the outer sections. Listen to the chord continuity at the top after a rhythmic pattern with quart note time unit has been overlaid. This phrase is played twice. Listen to the lower harmony layer and the pulsating bass part in the first statement. The upper layer is in the repeat. You'll hear the full piece at the end. The middle section is a thinner texture, four parts only. The lead is a distorted cello virtual instrument, processed with a guitar amp and effects. The background is a combination of synthesizers and organ. There is an offbeat pulsating bass. Also the maximum density closing section has a rhythm pattern overlaid on the polychord continuity. Let's play the separate layers, starting with the low mid register synthesizer background of a pulsating bass.
The mid-high three-part harmony layer is for another synthesizer pad, doubled here with the clear attack of an electric piano-ish sound. On top of these sustained harmony layers, there's a lead melody for violin, doubled with synthesizer. You'll hear it in the full version now. I used virtual instruments from Ample Sound Guitars, the Arturia V Collection, Audio Modeling Swarm, and Native Instruments Complete. Effect plugins are by Steinberg, many from FabFilter and Valhalla. This is a Cubase 12 project audio rendering. This two-part series is about writing music based on polychords, that is, three note chords in seconds, and setting multilayer chord continuities with the Schillinger system strata harmony approach. In part one, I showed an overview of the source material, the hexachords we obtained through stacking of two trichords. Their characteristics and properties were interpreted through the equivalent pitch class sets. Then you saw how to create chord continuities with polychords in seconds and apply strata harmony voice leading. I demonstrated the sketching process with five examples in different musical idiom. In case you would like the information from these episodes on paper, become a patron and have access to the companion documents or the multimedia content. If you like my video tutorials, subscribe to the channel and get notified of new episodes. Links for donations and financial support for my educational efforts are in the description below. For more content and various interactive musician tools, visit the website. See you next time and thanks for watching.